They are commonly called POWs or MIAs. We call them our brothers and our sisters. They are unable to be with us this evening, so we remember them. This table set for one is small, symbolizing the frailty of one missing or one prisoner alone against his oppressors. The tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their intentions to respond to the country's call to arms. The napkin. The napkin is black, symbolizing the sorrow of captivity and darkness and the emptiness of them not being with us this evening. The single red rose. The single red rose displayed in the vase reminds us of the families and loved ones of our comrades in arms who keep the faith awaiting their return and proper accounting. The yellow ribbon tied so prominently on the vase represents the unyielding determination for a proper accounting of all of our comrades who are not among us. The candle. The candle is lit, symbolizing the upward reach of their unconquerable spirit. The lemon. The slice of lemon on the bread plate is to remind us of their bitter fate. The salt. There is salt upon the bread plate, symbolic of the family's tears and all our tears, as we all wait for their counting and proper return. The glass. The glass is inverted. They can add toast with us or be with us this evening. And the chair. The chair is empty. They are not here, but they are never forgotten. So remember everyone here, and all of us who serve with them, and call them our comrades, who depended upon their might and aid, and relied upon them. For surely they have not forsaken you until the day they come home. Let's all remember. Thank you everyone for participating with our salute to service tonight. One more round of applause for all of our veterans.
and a six foot sophomore, number 24, Carson Powell. His Eagles are coached by Rob Malco. On the, it's on today's oh website, and it'll, I'm sure it'll appear in the Rochester Sentinel pretty soon. I had a couple nice long chats with Pete. He is he's in a, he's met a lot of people <laughs> in, in the basketball community, and my article barely scratches the surface, I think. But Pete is going into the Indiana basketball Indiana basketball Hall of Fame will be inducted in March, and he's, he's very very proud of his Rochester background. Bales and Bogger to jump. It's going to be controlled by the Blue Jays. Blue Jays have it. They knock it loose and they got to tr trace it down in the background. Here they go now in the forward crown. They bring it over. And that is Burkett with it. Burkett to the far side. They're wearing military uniforms and those gold numbers are hard to read tonight. Here is Burkett with a basketball. Now he goes down low. That's Bales. Turnaround jumper. Up and good. Quinn Bales gets the Blue Jays started. Well, and Rochester didn't really see a post threat the entire game against yeah. Winnemac. And Judson goes right to the post and gets a bucket there. And here is Reinerts in the corner, fakes it three steps inside, just off the mark, no good, and the rebound comes away to Burkett. Burkett quickly ahead to Wilcox, back over to Benson. Benson now over to McDaniel. McDaniel at the top of the key. McDaniel goes to his right side. Now back up top to Bales. Bales holds, looks for McDaniel. He finds him for three in the corner, no good. Rebound comes away to Bales. Bales down low. Now they kick it back out. Here's McDaniel. McDaniel into the free throw lane. Now he'll go out to Benson. Benson drives around, throws up and left-handed hook shot. Good. Donner Benson gives a 4-0 lead to the Blue Jays. Here's Bogger now on the far side. He gives it to Reinerts. Now down the corner. Here's Pollock. Pollock with the basketball. Brings it back up top to Prater. Prater, left side. Prater between two defenders. Kicks it out to Reinerts. Now to a cutting Bowers. Bowers goes up off the glass. No good, but a foul coming. And it looks like McDaniel going to pick up his first foul and the team first. Nice little pump fake by Drew Bowers to give himself enough space and to get McDaniels off his feet. The Peru Tigers up at halftime, 34-21 over Southwood at Peru. And Coach Tony Stasiak gets a big win at LaVille. The final trip for the Warriors to LaVille as the uh, Warriors defeat LaVille 46-30. to So uh, the Lady Warriors with a big win. Yeah, two big boys conference games tonight with McConquad, at Wabash, and Southwood at Peru. There's Bowers with both free throws. Cuts the lead in half, 4-2. to two. Tomorrow night will be a busier night for boys basketball than tonight Yeah, from the TRC standpoint. Peru and Northfield battle tomorrow night. Here is, uh, that's Benson into the corner. Three ball on the way by Burkett. It's an air ball picked up by the Zebras. Quickly ahead to Pollock. Back to Bowers. Top of the key, Reinerts fakes a three. Drives in, kicks it out to Drew. Here's three on the way for Bowers. No good. And Reinerts goes over the back. And he's going to pick up foul number one. And team one for the Zebras. Four to two with 6.09 to go here in this first quarter. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. Rochester's got to figure out some ball screen defense yeah. there. That was an open look that Burkett got, but he missed. Here's McDaniel with the basketball. Now they swing it to the far side. That is Bales. Bales, right side, dribbles into the paint, kicks it out, and now we're yeah. going to have a foul on the floor. 
And I believe they're going to get Bogger for a reach in. And Coach Sheezum called for another ball screen, and yeah. Rochester got mixed up a little bit on it. Bogger with his first, team second. So now it'll be inbounded to the Blue Jays. A little quick tip in. No good. The tip goes back up. No good, but another foul coming. And Bales will go to the line, and Bogger just picked up his second quick one. That's going to be the team third. And Bales will go to the line to shoot two. Bazo will check in after the first free throw. First one is good. Bazo comes in and uh, Bogger will sit down. 5.53 to go here in the opening quarter, 5-2. Second free throw is good as well. So now it is 6-2. Here's Zebras with the basketball. Here's Prater with a fall away jumper up and good. Nice move by Prater. Prater but quickly down is Judson. Benson's playing good defense on him. That was just Owen rising up and hitting a shot. So here is Zebras with a steal. Pollock quickly ahead to Reinerts. Reinerts has it. Now back to Pollock into the corner to Bowers. Bowers to Reinerts. Now to uh, Prater. Prater has it. Left side down to Bowers. Bowers dribbles in. Bowers nice up and under. Gets the roll. Drew Bowers now with four points. And it's tied at six. North Jets is a little inexperienced in the point guard department. They're a little inexperienced, and I think that's going to be something to keep an eye on for this game. Blue Jays with a basketball, and they turn it over. They try to go down low. And it's last touched by the Blue Jays. Yeah, that's two turnovers on the last two possessions for North Judson. Yeah. Got a little sped up there, and that's, and again, uh, you know, Drew Bowers has played a lot more basketball than I think any of their point, either of their point guards have or any of their point guards have. Here's the Zebras with the basketball. Now to Bowers. Drew back up top to Pollock. They swing it left side now to Prater. Drives the baseline. Here's Bazo. Free throw line jumper good. Nice little shot for Robert Bazo getting into scoring column. The Zebras take the lead 8-6. to six. And another really good pass by Owen Prater. Now Vincent with the basketball for the Blue Jays. Now they come back up top. They look for McDaniel. He has it left side. McDaniel picks up his dribble. Rochester in 2-3 zone. Now to Burkett. Burkett looks for the cutter. Can't get it to him. Now they give it off to Bales. Bales back over the top to McDaniel on the right side. Almost stolen by Bowers. Here it is back over the top, and it goes to Bales, left side. They swing it into the corner. McDaniel fakes a three, trying to get Bazo off his feet. Bazo didn't fall for it. Now do they come to the near side to Bales. Bales will dribble back up top. Yeah, I think that the zone is going to have to make Bales work a little bit. Here is the defense by the Zebra, stolen. Here and then quickly down the floor is Rochester. Reinerts over to Bazo, into Prater. Prater on the far corner, drives that baseline, looking, finds Bowers in the corner, three ball on the way, off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Judson. Wilcox got that rebound, but that was a wide open look for Bowers. Another nice pass by Prater. 3.15 to go here in the opening quarter. Zebras lead eight to six. And I'm kind of wondering if Coach Malcolm maybe went to the zone after Bogger got a second. Yeah. Uh, Maybe he just felt more comfortable in a zone with, with this unit out there. Burkett with the basketball. Now goes over to the near side to Bales. Bales back over to Burkett. Now down into the corner. That is Wilcox with it. Now brings it near side to Bales. Three on the way for him off the mark. Reinerts with a rebound. Quickly ahead to Bowers. Touchdown pass up at lab. Good. Drew Bowers with a nice catch in the layup. And it's a four-point lead, 10-6. And that's what we were talking about, getting buckets in transition. And, I think and we get a timeout by the Blue Jays. It's a 60-second timeout. We'll take one as well. Zebras lead 10-6 on the, the farm, or excuse me, on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard here at North Judson High School. Giant FM and RTC TV. 60-second timeout by the Blue Jays. It'll be Blue Jay basketball in the backcourt. How is Benson with it? Benson goes right side. Now they bring it back to the middle. Well, they look to the middle. Now they get it off. Well, part of the reason why Coach Sheezum called timeout was to make some subs. Yeah. He got Holum in the game, and he got Ratke in the game. He did. Uh, to maybe uh, try and bust this zone a little bit. 
Now in the middle, it goes, kicks it back out. Here's Bales, three ball on the way is good. Quinn Bales cuts the lead to one for Rochester, 10 to nine. You can see what an impressive player Bales is. He's scored in the post, he's hit a three. He's got seven of the nine. Here's Bowers, pull up jumper on the way, rattles around, falls out, no good. Quick rebound comes out to uh, Bales. Bales with the basketball. And Bales also has four rebounds so far. Back over to Holm. Holm with the basketball. Back to Bales. Bales in the left wing. Now they go down low. It's knocked loose. Picked back up by North Judson. Here's Benson with it. He goes over in the corner to Holm. Holm kicks it out. Here's Radke. Three on the way. No good. And the rebound comes away to Bazo. Bazo with the rebound. Bazo gives it off to Prater. Now here's Ratner. Uh, uh, yeah, Prater. Prater with it. Misses the short jumper. Kind of a quick shot for Rochester. I think Coach Malko would probably like to see it. a couple more passes. Over the top they go to Wilcox. Wilcox. Then to Bales. A deep three for Bales off the mark. And Prater with a rebound. Prater ahead. Here's Reinerts. Pass down low to Bowers. Goes up and no, they're going to call on the floor. The foul is coming, but it's going to be whistled on the floor before the shot. And that's going to be against Bales, his first team second with a minute three left to go. McDaniel will come back in, and Vincent will sit down. Yeah, Drew Bowers' quickness is going to be a problem for North Judson. Yeah. Bowers looking to get it in. It's not going to be a problem. It, it, it is a problem for North Judson. Prater gets it in the corner, just inside the three. Shot's no good, pulled down by McDaniel. McDaniel will run the point. He'll bring it across the timeline. Under a minute to go. Right side they go. That's Radke with it. Radke back over to Holm. Holm brings it back to the top. Holm holds. Now goes to the right side. Down low to McDaniel. McDaniel quickly double teamed. Kicks it back out. Wilcox with it. Into the paint. Wilcox goes up and fouled. And he'll shoot two. As that one rolled around and almost dropped in. And that's going to be whistled on Robert Bazo, his first team fourth. And now that will send Wilcox to the line to shoot two. Wilcox listed at six feet. I don't think he's even that tall. I think he's more like 5'10", 5'11", maybe. But having said that, he's, every bit of him is muscle. Free throw's good. We're tied at 10. Burkett comes back in, and so does Benson. 34.7 seconds remaining. Tied at 10 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Second one is good for Wilcox. They take the lead back, 11 to 10. Zebras will have 30 seconds to work with in the quarter. They go to Prater. Prater on the far side. Prater's pass stolen. Stolen by Radke. Radke down low and charge. Radke's going to get whistled for a charge. And the foul is going to be against... Radke, nice job by uh, Carson Pollock. Yep, he got back defensively. Turnover yeah. number four for North Judson. Only one turnover for Rochester, which just came a moment ago. 12 seconds to go in the quarter. Bowers with the basketball. Todd the key around the screen by Pollock. Pollock will fire a three straight away. Good. Pick and pop. Carson Pollock hits the buzzer, and there's a shot at the buzzer. North Judson, no good. And with that shot, Zebras take a two-point lead into the break at the end of the first on the Jennings Insurance Scoreboard. Rochester 13, Blue Jays 11. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV 4. At North Judson High School, the nest as we start the second quarter will be Zebra basketball. Zebras lead 13 to 11. And they'll start with the ball, and it's Bowers, Prater, Reinerts, Bazo, and Pollock on the floor for Rochester. Drew has the basketball around the screen. Drew back up top. Now they give it to Bazo. Bazo has it off to Prater. Prater around his defender, kicks it out to, and there's travel at the last second. Oh, and Prater thought about shooting it, then he decided to pass it out, and he kind of just dragged that back foot a little bit. Yeah. 
that last possession of the first quarter, Judson got caught on a bad matchup. Yeah. Holm was guarding Bowers. That's not a matchup Holm can handle. So Coach Sheezen brought some help along, but they got uh, miscommunication on the pick and pop, and Paula got a wide open three. Here's Radke with the basketball for North Judson. He gives it off to McDaniel. McDaniel, top of the key. They bring it back over to Holm. Holm with it. Now swings it right side to Benson. Now over to Radke. Radke goes down low to Bales. Bales at the block. Gives it up to Benson on a cut. Benson goes up, gets the roll. And we're tied at 13. Drew Bowers with the basketball now for the Zebras. Around McDaniel goes up and gets the roll. Drew's got eight. And it's a two-point lead for the Zebras. 15-13. Quickly down to the Blue Jays. Blue Jays have the basketball. Now over to Bales. Bales, three on the way for McDaniel, rattles it home. Back to a one-point Judson lead, 16-15. Six and a half to go here before halftime. Bowers, now to Prater. Prater has the basketball against Benson, drives it. Here's Bazo for three, off the mark, no good. And a quick rebound off the way by Benson. Benson pushes. Benson picks up his dribble, swings it to Bales. Bales on the right side. Now back up top to Benson. They come to the near side to McDaniel. McDaniel, a couple dribbles back to the middle. Now over to Benson. Benson with it. Into the corner. Nope, they go down low to Racky. He kicks it out to McDaniel. Three on the way, no good. Rebound, Bazo. <coughs> and Bazo's going to be tied up by Hullum. And the alternating possession will go to the Blue Jays. Yeah, that's the right call. Yeah. Bazo brought it down. The Judson... Good quick hands by was a Hullum who got his hands in there and forced to jump ball. Turnover number three for Rochester. Wilcox comes back in and Racky will sit down for the Blue Jays. They inbound it and they get it off to Wilcox. He brings it back up to Benson. Now down in the corner, McDaniel travels. Almost stepped out of bounds. And when he did that to adjust, he shuffled his feet. Caston and Carroll are tied 58-58 going to overtime. Wow. And here we are, halfway, not even halfway through the second quarter. Here he is, Bowers with it. Bowers is guarded by McDaniel. They go down low, and we got to travel on Prater. Good cut by Prater, but I think he got the pass maybe a little late and yeah, couldn't quite do anything with it. timing was just yeah. off a little yeah. bit. It was a good idea because the defender had his back turned. 2-3 zone still for the Zebras. Benson will walk it up. Benson crosses the timeline. Right side to McDaniel. Back over to Benson. Benson brings it to the near side to Hollum. Back to the middle. Here's Bales. Bales has it. Back over to Benson. They're looking for McDaniel in the corner. They get it to him, and he'll bring it back up. I think they're really looking for Wilcox in the post, but yeah. he's just having a hard time getting open. Here is Bales to Hollum. Down low to Wilcox. Wilcox dribbles it back out, throws it up top to Hollum. They go down low, and it goes between the legs of Wilcox. The baseball pass couldn't be handled. Yeah, again, they're, they're looking for Wilcox, definitely. But that, yeah, was, that just, was obvious on that, that one. That was yeah. a tough catch. That was a tough pass to catch. That was trying to thread the needle. 5.05 to go here in a second. 16-15 Blue Jays. Here is Reinerts with it. Tanner, a couple of dribbles, spin move into the paint. Now kids it off to Pollock. Pollock back up top, free throw line out to Reinhardt. Tanner's got to take that. Reinhardt's against Tallum, and he travels. Tanner had to take the first shot. And now coming in will be Radke. So the Blue Jays will have it. It's, been an, inter it's been an interesting chess match of a game yes, so far. It it's, it's a lot about matchups and defensive adjustments. Benson with it, now to McDaniel. Back over to Benson. Comes to the near side now to Radke. Radke dribbles back. Now down in the corner. McDaniel, three on the way. Way short. And the rebound to Bazo. Bazo gives it up to Bowers. He'll bring it across the timeline. Now to Bazo. Free throw line. Takes it to the hole. Goes up. Nothing. And it's going to be last touched out of bounds by North Judson. It'll stay with the Zebras. Did Wilcox get that? I think he did. Yeah. Looks like he must have. But I like the aggressiveness from Robert Bazo. I mean... I'm sure he's listed as a shooter on everybody's scouting report, so. Bowers will get it in. Gets it in to Prater. Prater, baseline move, goes up hard. Falls down, no call. 
And here comes the, the Blue Jays. All of a sudden, Radke has it knocked out of bounds. Coach Malco just kind of looking at the officials grinning. He doesn't have to say anything on that one. They know what he's up for. <laughs> Good deflection there by Drew Bowers. 4.15 to go. Here's the Blue Jays with it. Radke, top of the key. Radke gives it off to Bales. Bales will bring it back out and they'll restart. Radke to the right side. Now back up to Bales. Bales, top of the key with under four to go. Radke has it. Radke swings it to the right side to Benson. Again, trying to work down low. Wilcox not able to get open in that 2-3 zone. He was doing a good job of closing it out. Swing it back over to Radke. Radke goes back over to the right side to Bales. One point lead, 16-15. Here with three and a half to go. There's a sleeping McDaniel underneath, and they got it. McDaniel snuck in behind the defense, and the Zebras fell asleep for just a half a second. Here's Bowers the other end. Free throw jumper got the roll. Bowers adds to his totals. One point lead, 18-17 Blue Jays. He can create his own shot off the dribble. Now here's McDaniel again. He gives it off to Radke. Radke, far side to Bales. Now they'll bring him back up top to Benson. Benson. Now they're kind of splitting Wilcox and those guys down low. Here's three on the way, and it will go out of bounds. Nope. Bazo saves it. Quickly ahead to Bowers, but Bowers almost out of bounds. Saves it to Pollock. Wow, what an athletic play by Bowers. Now to Reinerts to Bazo. Bazo thinks about a three. Passes it over to Owen Prater. Now Bowers, three on the way. No good. But it touches the scoreboard on top, and it goes out of bounds to the Blue Jays. Yeah, they have the shot clocks pre-installed yeah. just in case, and that hit the shot clock. Yeah, they did that Even when though, they redid the gym yeah. a couple years ago. Benson has it now. 2.28 to go here in this second quarter. Neither team has committed a foul yet this quarter. Radke, there's a shot on the way by Bales, and it's good. The elbow jumper. Three-point Blue Jay lead. Bowers into the paint. Two Reinerts, three on the way for Tanner. No good. And a rebound comes away to Wilcox. Wilcox gives it up to McDaniel. He'll bring it across the timeline. McDaniel right side to Benson. They go down low to Wilcox. Knock loose. Picks it back up. Kicks it out to the corner. Now they swing it back up top. Good dig by Bazo on the defensive end. Here's McDaniel with a basketball for the Blue Jays. He leaves it off for Benson. Benson into the cutter and Bales turns around, throws it up. Good. Bales Quinn Bales with a nice looking shot there. And it's a five point lead, 22 17. That's a tough shot. Here's Bazo into the corner, travels. Minute 32 to go before halftime. Five turnovers this quarter for Rochester and in a game with not a lot of possessions. That's a lot of turnovers. Judson enjoying now their biggest lead at five. Under a minute and a half. Here's McDaniel with it. Brings it to Benson. Benson to Bales. Kicks it back out to McDaniel. Three right side. Good. The in and out. And now it's a 25-17 lead for the Blue Jays. really nice pass by Bales. Bowers, free throw line jumper. Doesn't get the roll this time. Quick rebound to McDaniel. McDaniel will bring it across the timeline. 60 seconds remaining in the half. Here is Benson now. Zebras in that 2-3. Will they extend it, try to force them to do something, or will they let Judson kind of run down the clock to the last second? Prater comes out on Radke. Here's Benson with it. Benson looks down low, brings it back out. 35 seconds to go in the half. Benson with the basketball. Benson at the Blue Jay at the middle of the court. Benson and Bales just playing catch. And we're under 20 seconds to go now in the quarter. Now the Blue Jays will look to start things. McDaniel with it. Back to Benson. Benson around the defender. Now kicks it out. Here's Bales for three. Short rebound comes to Prater and... Prater's going to be fouled, but that's going to be the only the first foul of the quarter for either team. 
And so it'll be out of bounds to Rochester with 7.8 seconds to go. And that will bring Coach Cheesem back to the bench. And Burkett will come in, and so will Holm for the last 7.8. Well, again, the Zebras hadn't committed a foul either, so no. they threw a little pressure at him because what did he have to lose there? Right. And uh, able to get kind of a rush shot. Bowers will have it with seven. Bowers has it with four. Bowers down low. Fakes goes up again. Rolls in and out. No good. And that will do it for the half. At halftime, Blue Jays 25. Your Zebras 17. Back with more after this. The halftime show being brought to you by Rochester Iron and Metal. A full service metal recycling and processing center that works hard to make sure that every bit is recycled properly. 25-17, our score at halftime on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Back with more. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Uh, Reinerts for Rochester. McDaniel, Burkett, Bales, Wilcox, and Benson on the floor for North Judson. Here's Bowers with the basketball. Bowers downhill, pulls up the elbow. Hard off the back of the iron. Rebound front for it. We're going to have a jump ball, and it'll go back to North Judson. Here comes Coach Malco giving the uh, trap sign. Zebras are going to bring it on here to start the third quarter. Wait a, wait a minute. Did I just? Was, I was not in the locker room. You sure you weren't? I think you disappeared on us. <laughs> Here's the trap on the far side. Now they get it They get it off to Benson who breaks it. Down low to McDaniel. Throws up a layup. No good. And the rebound comes away to Reinerts. Reinerts quickly ahead to Pollock. Pollock with the basketball. Now to Reinerts right side. Tanner, head fakes, now gives it to Prater. Pull-up jumper at the free throw line. No good. And it'll be fought for by two defend two Jets and Blue Jays. And it'll go out of bounds on them. Zebra basketball. McDaniel's the quarterback on the football team, and Wilcox is the running back. You think they're used to the mesh point? I guess not. Guess not with the round ball. Yeah, <laughs> not they have. Different, yeah, different ball. Here they give it off to Bowers on the inbounds. Bowers jumps up in the lane, throws up a shot, no good. He runs into Pollock as he gets it. The ball's knocked loose, and somehow it'll be off of Judson. It'll stay with Rochester underneath their own basket. Zebras will look to inbound. Bowers will do so again. A little bit of a force there by Bowers. Gets okay. it into Prater. Prater, top the key, dribbles in, now throws it out to Bowers. Bowers, jump stop, in the paint against McDaniel. Can't get it to roll. Ball's tipped and picked up now by Bales. McDaniel, McDaniel's done a nice job defensively. Bales back down quickly. Here's McDaniel, fakes a three, and Bowers is going to pick up a ticky-tacky foul as McDaniel head faked him. McDaniel, a big, strong athlete. And, and now he has been able to, he's been able to stay in front of Drew Bowers well, better than anybody else they've had. Obviously, Drew has led the way with for Rochester with 10. Here is Judson with the basketball. Still leading 25-17. And they go down low, and the, the lob to Burkett tries to lay up up no good, and quickly ahead to Pollock. Pollock has his eyes on the basket, goes up, and they're going to call a charge. Unfortunately, I could see it by the look of Carson's face when he caught it here. He was going to the hole, and Blue Jays able to slide underneath him. Yeah, I mean, you have to play under control. Uh, trying to rush up a shot is not going not to get it done. And, I mean, there's still six and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. You can't panic now, even though obviously it's an unusual position where they find themselves in. They basically let a wire to wire for two straight games. Here's Judson with the basketball. It's Benson off to Bales. Bales down in the corner to McDaniel. McDaniel down low to Benson. Misses the layup and a foul coming against Wilcox. That's going to be his first as he just plows over Reinerts as he goes for the rebound. The final tonight from Peru. They defeat Southwood 72-59. And Peru gets an, has another conference game tomorrow yeah. with Northfield, Northfield coming to town. Yeah. And we get a timeout on the floor. It's a 30 second timeout. 25-17, still the score with 6.16 to go here in North Judson High School. I don't, I don't think there was a whole lot of X's and O's in that timeout. I think it was just kind of getting the kids to settle down. Right. Neither team has scored here in this quarter. Run the offense. And a steal by McDaniel. McDaniel has it quickly ahead. McDaniel just shoots the three wide open. It's good. He's got 11. And now it's 28-17. Well, he's been great for them offensively and defensively. 
Prater with the basketball, down low at the block, kicks it out to Bowers. Bowers loses it into the hands of McDaniel now. McDaniel, right hand layup up and good. Here comes Prater to the other end. Prater has the basketball off to Reinerts. Reinerts into the lane, now kicks it back out to Prater. Drives the baseline, and now we're going to get a blocking foul against Benson. It's going to be his second, team second. So it'll be Zebra basketball underneath their own basket. And Bowers looks to trigger. Bowers gets it into the back. Now here is Reinerts shot up, no good. Bowers with a rebound. Kicks it back out to Bogger. Bogger travels. Four turnovers already this quarter in less than just, three minutes. Just can't really get uh, any, any groove going here right now. Yeah. Zebras into the man. Here's Benson with the basketball. Left side now, that's Burkett. Burkett has it, top of the key now to Bales. Now over to Wilcox. Wilcox will dribble back up to the top. Now they go down low. Down low to Burkett. Back out to McDaniel. Three off the mark. Prater with a quick rebound. Quickly ahead to Tanner. Reinerts with the basketball. Bazo into the corner. Back up to Prater. Right side, now they go to uh, Bogger. Bogger to Bazo. Th two foot was on the line, no good. And a quick rebound by Wilcox. One and done for the Zebras so far this quarter. Now here is Burkett, drives the baseline, and another charge. Bazo takes that one. And the foul is going to be a call against Bales. His second, team third. And coming in will be Hollum. And sitting down will be Burkett. Jack Ruffett will check in for the Zebras. He's going to replace Bazo. I think you need to inject some shooting into this lineup. And Jack is going to can provide that. Here's Bowers with the basketball. Four and a half to go. 30-17. Judson leads on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. They give it to Ruffett. He hands it back off to Bowers. Now to Prater. Prater. Back to Bowers, they run to the right side. Spin move into the paint. Bowers short off the front of the iron. And McDaniel with another rebound. McDaniel quickly down, has it knocked loose, picks it back up. Now he leaves it to Hallam and he travels. Turnover number eight for North Judson. Can Rochester miss a lot of shots short? Yeah. They, it's like they can't get their yeah. legs into this shot. That's not a good thing with uh, another one coming tomorrow night. Four minutes to go. Here's Prater into the paint. Prater's going to be fouled. That'll be the fourth of the quarter. And that's going to be on Benson, his third. Pollock will check back in, and setting down will be Bowers. Also coming back in for the Blue Jays will be Radke, and Benson will sit down. Pollock will inbound it. Pollock looking to get it in. Throws it over the top, now to Prater. Prater has the basketball. Prater guarded by Hollum. Down low. Caught. Kicks it back out. Reffitt for three. Right side. Good. Jack Reffitt gets the Zebras on the board in the quarter. Ten-point nice. er, Blue Jay lead. Nice pass by Prater. Out into the corner is Hollum. Right side looking for McDaniel down low. They get it to him against Pollock. Quarterback versus quarterback. Now they kick it back up top to Bales. Left side they go. Here's Blue Jays with the basketball. I think that was about a seven and a half minute, eight, eight minute score, yeah. uh, scoreless drought. Now Paul, or excuse me, Prater going to pick up a push in the back. Oh, and Prater picks up his first team third of the quarter. Blue Jays will inbound. Hollum will do so. They get it in. Now Hollum gets it back. Hollum against Prater. Now they're down in the corner to McDaniel. McDaniel back up top. Here's Bales with it right side. 3.05 to go. Here is kind of a 2-3. Yeah. Radke has it. Radke goes down low to McDaniel. Three on the way for him. Short. Hollum with the rebound. Now the pass is stolen by Bogger. Quickly ahead to Prater. 
Prater kicks it out. Here's Tanner Reinerts for three. Left side, no good. Ball's knocked loose, but Wilcox will come away with it. That was a heck of a pass by Prater, though. Yeah. Quickly down is McDaniel. Now off to Bales. Excuse me, that's Radke. Radke has it. And now Prater going to pick up his second. Team's fourth. With two and a half to go, it's 30 to 20. Blue Jays lead on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Bales gets it in to McDaniel. McDaniel has it. McDaniel goes to the right, swings it back left to Hollum. Hollum swings it down low. Here's Wilcox up off the glass. Good. Cole Wilcox puts it back up to a 12-point Blue Jay lead. Here's Prater on the far side against Wilcox. Shot from Bogger is good for three from the left side or right side. Bogger with his first points of the night. 20, 32, 23. Well, with Drew Bowers getting a rest, I mean, Owen Prater's got to be the kind of yeah. the playmaker out there. And he, another Here's, nice pass. Call him with it over the top to McDaniel. He'll fire a three right side. Good. That's his fourth three of the night. 35-23, Blue Jays. Here's Reffitt from the left corner. One and done again. Quickly down is Hollum. Hollum down low. Now they leave it for Bales. Bales in the paint. Should be a tie up, and it is. And the jump ball goes back to the Zebras. Turnover, Blue Jays. Pollock will come out. Bowers are back in. 1.23 to go here in the third, 35-23. It's weird. Every time North Judson looks a little uncomfortable against the zone, then they then they run the zone, the zone offense to perfection. Right. The next possession, it's interesting. Here's Bowers with the basketball. Bowers to Reffitt, left wing. Reffitt has it over the top to Reinert. Reinert trying to get it to Bogger down low. They can't do so. Bogger steps out. Three ball on the way. Right side, good. Bryce Bogger's feeling a little... Uh, Heat all of a sudden. 35-26 under a minute. Well, he's been in foul trouble much of the season so far, yeah. so we're finally getting a, a chance to see what he can do. Double teamed. Here is Radke that over to McDaniel. Three on the way. No good. Ball's tipped by Reffitt. And it's going to be last touch. Foul. 32. On yep, they're going to get Hollum. Hollum tried to hold on to Reffitt to not get the basketball, and that's going to be the team fifth, so Jack Reffitt will get to go to the line to shoot two to cut into this lead with the clock stopped. Hollum trying to do a blocking as he running down the court. Reffitt to the free throw line. First one on the way for Jack. Short off the left side. First free throw missed by the Zebras. Of course, they've only shot three. First missed by either team. Reffitt, second one on the way. Jack misses both. Wilcox with the rebound. Quickly ahead, they bring it. McDaniel, right side. McDaniel into the paint, kicks it back out to Bales. Judson, I'm going to guess, is going to try to hold for the last shot of the quarter. 30 seconds to go. And Judson also has the next possession arrow. Yeah. Here's uh, Radke with it. Far side over to Burkett. Burkett against Bogger. Burkett. And they're in the bonus. And the ball is kicked in the backcourt. They'll have to go get it, and Bales does. Good shot by Prater. Eight seconds to go. Here is McDaniel with it. Over to Radke. Down low to, oh, I thought he got the clean block. Bowers. Did two, and he's going to pick up his second foul, team fifth. And that will send number 20, Cole Wilcox, to the line where he's perfect tonight. Well, two for two so far. And he makes that one as well. And coming in will be Logan Pradke. Pradke will come in and replace Bales for the final 2.2. Wilcox will have another. He's got five points and makes that one as well. 37-26. Here's Bowers, half court, 
off the mark, no good. And that'll do it for the third quarter on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Blue Jays 37, Zebras 26. Back with more after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4. J basketball to start, start the fourth and final quarter. They lead 37-26 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Scoring up, uh, if you're a typical New Valley fan, you're pretty happy tonight. The Valley boys beat Morgan Township 47-44. The Valley girls beat North Miami 58-47. Starting the fourth quarter, Judson has it. McDaniel with it on the left side. McDaniel brings it over to the near side. Now to Radke. Back over to Burkett. Burkett back up top to Bales. Sievers in that 2-3 zone. Burkett again. He's going to be trapped in, up top. He's got to get rid of it. Finally does over to Bales. Bales down to the corner. McDaniel. He head fakes over the top. Back to Bales. Into the lane. It's Burkett. Stolen by Prater. Prater tries to go with a pass to uh, Bowers and stolen and a quick pass the other end and there's McDaniel with his 18th point. That's a pass you try to force when you're down by double digits in the fourth quarter and it Bowers underneath. What a look by Prater. Bowers now with 12. 39-28. Into the corner, McDaniel. He'll fire a three. Good. McDaniel just can't miss when he's left wide open. And we get a travel on Reinerts. Pollock will check back into the lineup, and he will replace Reffitt. 6.50 to go here at North Judson. 42-28. Judson leads. Zebra's going to uh, the man, I believe. And they do. Here's Bales with it. Now to McDaniel. Comes to the near side. Now to Radke. Down low to McDaniel. McDaniel against Carson. The give and go to Wilcox. Up, no good. Reinerts with a quick rebound. Off to Pollock. Now to Bogger. Knocked out of bounds. And it's saved in the backcourt by Pollock. Down low to Prater. Prater travels. Uh, Wide open, and Prater traveled. Just a frustrating night for the Zebras. I mean, I think Prater was actually too wide open. He, yeah. he kind of was trying to feel the defender, and he couldn't feel him because he was just that wide open. He kind of... Man press. Yeah. Bales breaks it to Wilcox. Lays up a layup short, and Prater gets the rebound. Ahead to Bogger. Bogger into the paint, goes up, gets his own rebound, and we're going to have travel. That's a big call because a jump ball, the arrow would have gone toward Rochester. I thought it was a, but they, they it was said partially that, blocked, yeah. yeah that, it was not a jump, it was just a, it was just just a travel. The old up and down, is yeah. that what they call it in the playground? Here he is, Radke with it. Now off to Bales. Bales, back to Radke. Radke travels, wave it off. That was strange. Bales traveled earlier in the possession. They didn't call yeah. that, but then they could call that one, which. 5.48. Coming back in will be Connor Benson. And Radke will sit down. Bazo will come back in for Rochester. And Prater will sit down. Boy, uh, 42 28. Dylan, Dylan Hooks can make a difference when they get him back. Yeah. Uh, especially in, against a, t a team like this. Here is Pollock with the basketball. Pollock jump stops in the lane, kicks it out. Reinerts, three on the way, no good, and a rebound by Bales. Bales will clear and bring it up himself. Bales, nobody's on him. Now they pick him up, and Bales brings it back up top and reset. But Bales can do just about everything on the court. Benson to Wilcox, back to Wilcox. Here's three on the way for Judson, no good. Wilcox goes and gets the rebound, and we're going to have jump ball. Arrow back to the Zebras. Prater gets a quick drink, and he's back in for Bazo. There's a lot of frustrated looks on the Zebras' faces here. How many turnovers we got, Val? 14. 14. Here is Bowers with the basketball to Tanner. Reinerts to Bogger. Bogger, right wing. Bogger into the paint. Turns around, kicks it back out to Bowers. Drew, down low to Bogger. Bogger goes up. And it's going to be on the floor. Bryce, I think, took just a half a second too long before he went up for the basket. Wilcox going to get whistled for his second, team first. 
That'll bring in number 32, Hollum. Wilcox will sit down. And again, Bryce just frustrated because, I mean, yeah. of course you're going to pump fake, get the guy off his feet. I mean, yeah. if you force up the shot, it Three on the inbounds that. for Reinhardt's off the mark. No good. Benson with a rebound. Benson quickly ahead. Benson guarded by Bogger. Now swings it left side to Hollum. Hollum back up top to Burkett. Burkett right side to Benson. They're trying to go down low to Wilcox. He drives, throws it over the top. Here is uh, Bales. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound fought for. Bogger comes away with it. Great defense by Prater. Ahead to Reinerts. Reinerts almost loses it, picks it back up. Now to Bogger into the corner. Carson Pollock three on the way. Off the mark, no good. Reinerts fights for the rebound, and he gets it as uh, Wilcox falls down. Now we're going to have... He's got the, the official called a, a charge, but it was on Hallam running through one of the zebras. So it'll be his second, team second of the quarter. Zebras will inbound. Now they give it off. Nice job by uh, Prater. He fakes the handoff, and it's up and good. And the zebras take a 60-second timeout. 42-30 here at George Judson High School. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. Judson High School after the Zebra timeout. 42-30. Blue Jays lead. It'll be Blue Jay basketball. Zebras in a man press coming out of the timeout. McDaniel with 13 of their 17 points this half. And he's got 21 for the game. They get it into Benson. Back to Bales. Bales has it. Bales back over to Benson on the near side. Breaks the timeline. They go down low. And wide open is Burkett. And Burkett has his first points of the night. 44-30. Down is Reinerts. Reinerts into the paint, falls down, throws up a shot, no good, gets his own rebound, back up and good. That is the first point of the night for Tanner Reinerts. And now we're going to have a foul on Prater, I believe, in the backcourt. First foul of the quarter for Rochester. And that is going to be on Prater, his first, team first. Three and a half to go here in this fourth quarter. 44-32 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Stay with us. Coming up at the post-game show, brought to you by Peterson, Wagon and Perkins. We'll have our Inyards Hardware player of the game. What's impressive about North Justin, they don't have a true point guard, but they yeah. handle it pretty well. They've handled it well enough, and they, the passes go to the right places. Bales with a basketball. Bales has it. Bales guarded by Bogger. Bales back to the center. Left side now over to Burkett. Back over to Benson. Benson goes to McDaniel, right wing. McDaniel, one dribble, now goes low to, to Bales, kicks it back up, swing it on the far side. Here's Hollum with it. Hollum picks it up, ball's tipped, picked back up by oh, Hollum. Just a bad break there. There are three guys that are ready to steal and the ball. Coach uh, Cheesum wants a timeout. It's a 30-second timeout with 3.02 to go here in the fourth quarter. 44-32, Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Now they get it in the backcourt. Here is Benson with it. Benson with the basketball. Gets it over to Bales. Bales is double teamed. He goes on the far side to McDaniel. Zebra's kind of putting that tra trap on on the sideline. Now they go into the corner. Here's a three ball on the way. In and out, no good. Bogger with the rebound. Well, Rochester will be fine with that shot. Yeah. Bogger brings it up to Prater. Swings it to Reinerts. Reinerts against Tollum. True Bowers has got to get a touch here. Yeah. Here's Bogger. Bogger, free throw line jumper, good. Never mind. Bryce Bogger's got eight. Like I said, Bryce Bogger's got to get a touch. <laughs> Ten point lead and an over to back call. Palming was the call, actually. Yeah. Holloman turned it over in the backcourt as he throws it in the backcourt. Well, that was a. He'll sit down and coming back in will be Wilcox. That was a nice move on the other end, though, by Bryce Bogger. Yeah. Kind of went into his defender, created a little bit of space for himself, and switched a little 16-footer. 
Short three by Bowers, picked up by Pollock. Pollock with a rebound over the top to Bogger. Now to Reinerts, left side. Reinerts dribbles in, throws up a shot, gets his own rebound, back up again, no good. Rebound comes away to McDaniel. McDaniel in the backcourt. McDaniel will get it over to Bales, now quickly over to Benson. Benson, left hand layup, up and good. Benson's got six. And it's 46-34. Here's Prater at the other end of the paint. Nice little jumper good. Prater's got six. 46-36. Here is Burkett. Burkett throws it in the backcourt. It's going to be another turnover. Turnover number 15 for North Judson. 14 for Rochester. Wow. So they have committed five turnovers in this quarter, so they've given... They've given Rochester a little bit of a chance here, but Zebras again, can get it down to single digits only for the first time in a long time. Down by 11 after three, and then now down by 10, so they haven't made too much hay, though. Here's Bogger with the basketball. Bowers down low to Prater, up off the glass. Good. Great pass. Prater gets it. Zebras want a timeout. And it's a 30 second timeout with a minute 21 to go here in this fourth quarter. Zebras call a 30 second timeout. Giant FM and RTC TV4. And uh, uh, again, uh, what, what Coach Cheesem, I think, is telling his kids is if the ball gets caught on the sideline, get it back into the middle quick. Yeah. Zebra's putting on full court press. Now, the last time they, they, get, they, they were a little too quick and they committed an over and back uh, turnover. Bales has it. They get it up. Now they get it to the volleyball line. Now they cross. Bales has it. Bales throws it down to Wilcox. Wilcox up and good. Almost rolled out. Bales with eight. It's back to ten. Quickly down. Here's Bogger. Bogger on the floor. And it's only going to be the third for the Blue Jays in the quarter. And it will be on 20. That's Wilcox. Bazo will come back in. Pollock will sit down. And I think this is kind of an offensive-defensive thing to get uh, Bazo shooting in there. 104 to go. They inbound it to Prater. Prater to Bowers, three on the way, no good, but a foul coming, and he'll go to the free throw line to shoot three. And they're going to call it on McDaniel, his second, team fourth, and Drew Bowers now to the line to shoot three. Coach Cheesem just looked away and just sat, sat down. He, he didn't. He was not happy with that. You do not want to foul a jump shooter in this situation up by ten with a minute to go. Clock stops. First one is good by I mean, Bowers. Not that there's ever a good time to follow a jump shooter, but that's a bad <laughs> time. Zebras have two timeouts left. Blue Jays have three. Bowers makes a second one. He's Four. got one more. Down Four. to an eight-point lead for Blue Jays. 14 points for Drew. Looking for Again, 15. This is a big one because it can allow you to set up the press. It's good again, and Rochester wants another timeout. It's a 60. 48-41. We'll be back after this for the final 60 seconds. Giant FM on RTC TV throws. The lead is down to seven for North Judson. Rochester calls their timeout. They have one remaining. 48-41. 60 seconds exactly here in the fourth quarter. Blue Jays to inbound. Boggers on the ball. Now they go over to the far side. Now they back up. They give it off to Bales. Bales against Prater. Back over to the far side. Now back over to Bales. He crosses the timeline. He's double teamed, and he's going to be fouled as Prater shoves him out of bounds. And that will be Prater's fourth, team second. 48.7 seconds. That's the problem. You still got two more fouls to give after that, and Owen can't give one because he's right. got four personals now. Into the backcourt is Benson with the basketball. 45 seconds remaining. Now over to Bales. Bales has it over the top. Now to Burkett. Burkett. And they throw it out of bounds. Turnover. And that will bring Owen Radke into the contest for Burkett. Rochester with one timeout left. Judson has three. Zebras get it in. Here is Bowers with it with 35. Bowers with the basketball. Now to Bogger. Bogger dribbles in, throws up a layup, up and good. What a nice move. Bogger's got two more, and the Zebras call their final 60-second timeout. 
26.7 to go, 48-43 on the Giant FM and RTC. Blue Jays lead 48-43. The Zebras are out of their timeouts. And like Val said a little bit ago, Judson still with three. Rochester has turned it around this fourth quarter. It looked like this could get ugly. Boy, we, we, we've seen some moves from Bryce Bogger that we yeah. haven't seen before. He's got 11 points all this half. And then they get it to Benson. Benson is in fouled by Bazo. And Bazo will pick up his second. Team's third. That'll send Carson Pollock back in the ball game. Pollock will come in. He'll replace Prater. Mainly because Prater can't foul. Right. Prater will be back in yeah. once they get into the bonus. And here it is. And now they're going to foul, and Pollock does. Pollock makes his first, second foul, excuse me. Team fourth. 18.8 to go. Judson led by 14 earlier this quarter. Coach Mako saying, we, we got to do it right away. You got to go get the ball. 13 to, 13 to 4 run by Rochester. They get it in the back to McDaniel. McDaniel then is quickly fouled by Pollock. His third, team fifth. So that'll send McDaniel to the line. His first trip to the free throw line tonight. He's got 21 all in the evening. Prater will come back in after the first free throw. Here's the first free throw by McDaniel. It's good. 49-43. McDaniel will have one more. 17 seconds remaining. Louisville defeated Winamax 69-55. Boys. Second one is good for McDaniel. And Coach Cheesum wants a 60-second timeout. We'll take one as well. 17 seconds left, 50-43, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at North Judson High School after the timeout, Bowers with the basketball. Bowers to Prater, three on the way for him, off the mark, no good. Ball comes loose, Bogger picks it up with six. Back to Prater, back to Bogger, Bogger into the paint, Bogger throws up a layup, up and good, and that's going to do it. The final tonight, 50-45. Zebras fall to two and one. Norm Judson will move to three and zero. Oh. When we come back, the post game brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Again, the final on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard: Norm Judson fifty, Zebras forty-five. Back with more after this. Giant FM and RTC TV four. <laughs> 